so in this next video I'm going to show you how to put multiple tracks on the same genome browser and the way that we want to, uh, as you can see in this example, we've got the first patient here with this set of breakpoints. We've already logged that down here. Now the second thing that we need to do is we're going to add the distal and proximal breakpoints for this second patient here. Okay, so how do we do that? Easy. What we do is that we, the first thing that we have to do is we may need to make sure that the browser position can encompass both patient one as well as patient two. So let's look here. Um, in this case, um, in this case, our second patient's breakpoints are, are a subset of the first ones, so there's no point in modifying it. However, say for example, if the proximal breakpoint became 7517429, we'd want to increase the browser position to include 7517429, so we might make it 76, okay? But let's go back and just keep it simple. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to add in the second patient. So what we do is we copy we don't copy the browser position, but everything below that, from track name all the way down to here, okay? Copy that, and then we press paste. And notice that it says track name equals spacer. Instead of that, we want to make it track name equals one for patient one, track name equals two for patient two. Now we change the patient's description. So we change it to, in this case, it's not patient M um, AS anymore, uh, MS anymore, it's patient ALS. So we change it to patient ALS. And we can also change the color of it to make it something a bit different from the original one. Now we follow exactly the same steps that we did before. So 697, we track the, f the f leftmost maximal breakpoint, make it one larger. We track the rightmost breakpoint and make it one larger. It do by the way, it doesn't matter what order it is it's in. Um, and then we track the proxim the, the minimal breakpoints. So 6991049 here. Do you understand this? Yep. And then the rightmost one here. Okay. So now we've got our um, now we've got our two tracks registered. Now I press submit and this should work. Okay. So you see how we've got track one and track two. And now we can have a look at our two deletions in comparison. So notice how patient MS here is logged in blue and patient ALS is logged from here green to green. Okay, so that's it simple. Thank you.